Another day, another abandoned cemetery. After much misguided searching in circles, I finally stumbled over the resting place of some local Daniels. Like much of my discoveries, I came with rough directions and confusing research, trying my luck against human forgetfulness and eagerly overgrowing nature. After a good half hour of tilting at stumps and gravestone decoys, I finally spotted the spire, poking like a splinter in the corner of my eye. The grounds were totally tangled when I first arrived, so crowded with growth that I couldn't take two steps past some tripping limb or eye poking hazard. Today, in memory of Ephraim and Christina Daniels, who lived to be 83 and 64, both dying in 1871. He didn't have to be long without her. She left in October, and he followed on New Year's Eve. I've got to do this now, before night falls on memories swept off, never brought to mind. This was a short-lived cemetery, 40 years or so, for a half dozen graves where half died young and half older. We pulled out of these places by the end of the century, moved our new dead into settled gatherings where they could keep cold company. Some old stones recorded seemed to be missing are they elsewhere now, or buried below? I've been staying till twilight lately, burning every afternoon down until light gets lost, clearing, digging, raking, sweeping, and washing clean the names of the dead. I've bled for this cemetery, took a hawthorn spine in the skull today, and felt it drain down my skin like raindrops. Every evening, I've seen the same man passing on the shoulder, walking east to west with no hint why I'm here. Like dozens of others, everywhere I turn, Daniel's Cemetery is a secret, kept by the dead below, and only the dead who knew them. Call me an ardent explorer of misplaced memories. I just want to remember what no one does. I was a couple feet down before I finally found the memory of James Daniels. How long was he lost? Well, when a man named Dr. Marble rolled this way in the 1960s, James was nowhere to be seen by him. Missed by genealogists and the general public, driving by like I have for lifetimes, never seeing what lies just feet away. Could be a century since this stone saw sunlight Old dirt caked in every numbered letter, held deep and close as you like. James H. Daniels, unearthed son of Eliza and Joel. Was 26 years enough to get much living done? I know I felt pretty aimless at that point in my life. But maybe things were different then. Gone in 1869, just past the time when Canada was a country and a civil war finished south of the border. Buried before a summer that never came. When you're gone, just nothing matters next. I want to say something before the dead get the best of me. But they're all in on silence.